My name is Miles Morales and I am a ball boy. I was bitten by a radioactive spider and for five years I've been the one and only Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I saved a bunch of people, scored many goals for my college youth team, signed a professional contract, fell in love, saved many goals for my club again and again and again. Look, I'm a comic book, I'm a serial, I also did a Christmas album and I have an excellent theme song and a so-so popsicle so no matter how many hits i take i always find a way to come back there's only one spider-man and you're looking at him but then suddenly something weird started happening and i gotta say weird things happen to me a lot but this was very weird <laughs> and i'm here playing for england in the world cup and i have a feeling if i get to that trophy everyone around here is trying to tell me that you can go home they say it's coming home so i guess let's win that shit all right people the first game i played against was some team with a guy looking like ninja turtles hey man Coming through! Yo! Chill! Alright, that's what happened. France scored first. I tried hard. France scored again. And they scored again. It was 3 0 at the half time. My teammates in the dressing room tried to tell me something. This guy was trying to say something, but I couldn't understand. But whatever he said to me, it felt like he understood me. And I scored my first international goal for England. And it is true, with great power comes. Never mind, France scored again. It's something about being Spider Man. You just cannot back down. And somehow we got one goal back. And it looked like my spidey senses were back. I scored this insane goal from outside the box. And we were coming back in the game. I was flying everywhere, just like your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. I was so happy to equalize, but everybody around me was trying to tell me if we went to the penalties, we lose because we are England and we don't win penalties. It was the last minute of the game and I got a perfect ball and the time just stopped. I knew it that if I didn't hit this right, we are going to penalties and I cannot risk that because we are England. So I had to score and that my friends took us to the next round. And the next round we faced Italy. I guess in this dimension Italy qualifies for the World Cup. But as soon as the match started, I was ready to show my best. Hello, Spider-Man. Huh? Kingpin? You want to get to that trophy to go home? I'll make sure that never happens. I'll take everything from you. Everyone that is helping you will now suffer. <laughs> There's always a villain who wants to take everything from me. Ah, screw it. Now that King Ping shrunk down everyone in my team, except he forgot about the goalkeeper. The match went out super smooth, with Italy scoring first, uh, and the second, and the third. Mm, I gotta say we looked pretty screwed in this one. All of my teammates were completely shambled. They couldn't give their best because they never had the potential to. King Ping took all their powers and I saw no way back. Oh, we scored. We somehow got one goal back and we got another goal back. Even though King Ping shrunk all my players down, I was still getting it done. My players were giving their best. Even though they look like midgets, they were giving their best. We are going to win the World Cup. And I tell you what, our goalkeeper was saving our team. We are getting out of here, boys. Even though if Kingpin has shrunk everyone down, we are going to the next round. Yes! The next match arrived and everybody grew back their size. And this game was against Germany. I guess in this dimension, Germany can get out of a group stage. And this match started super, super strong. We scored three goals straight away. But it was something that I could feel that we were about to face. Harry Osborne Maguire was one of our defenders and he started scoring own goals and when I approached him he just pushed me back saying 
Back off, Spider-Man. You are the reason I lost my father. And I'm not gonna let you go through this. So the manager substituted him off, but we had a huge problem. We were heading to the penalties. And as much as I know, England sucks at penalties. There was no chance. We are going to win this. We are heading to penalties and I know... Oh my god. It's Peter. <laughs> He is our goalkeeper in the penalty shootout. I could not believe what I was seeing. I had to calm my nerves and we started. I took my first penalty and I scored. Peter saved the first penalty, obviously. Then Harry Osborne Maguire missed, obviously. But then Peter saved again, and again, and again. I could not believe my eyes. Peter was here and we are going to the finals of the World Cup. There is nothing that can stop us. I had Peter, I had everyone and it was like a family. Everything was coming together. I think it's coming home and I'm going home. The big day arrives and I'm at the final. We were playing against Argentina. Oh Lord, I knew in my dimension, back home, Argentina was the one who won it. And they had one of the most dangerous players. Lionel Mysterio. I heard a lot about Lionel Mysterio. He could vanish from one and then appear on the other side. He had so many powers. He could just dribble past defenders. He was the guy to look out to. But I guess I had Peter on my side and we began. The match started with an insane bang. Lionel Mysterio was so hard to contain. He scored two goals against us and we were down at halftime. But I still remember Peter being on my side. The halftime team talk was so stressed out. All of us didn't speak a word. We all knew that we are going to lose the World Cup. It just looked like we never was in the game and nothing could be done in that game because we had no control over Lionel Mysterio. And the second half started. We went out and there was some sort of energy between me and Peter. We were just combining left, right and center. He was passing me the ball and I was passing him the ball as well. We enjoyed each and every aspect of each other's game and it was like brother trying to save this mission and soon you could see we started scoring we got one back and it was the excitement of that goal that we could not contain and we got another goal back and it was something that I cannot express how good I felt that day the match was tied at 2-2 and so was Lionel Mysterio's ego he started to score against us again and we came back and then he scored again and then we came back the score line at the end of the day was 5-5 and in the last minutes of the game I got a perfect ball and I scored and that's how my friends I won the World Cup lifting the World Cup trophy I knew I was gonna leave my teammates behind and I was going back home because I brought the trophy home and as soon as I lifted it I came back to my reality